The aerospace industry of the United Kingdom is the fourth largest national aerospace industry in the world and the third largest in Europe, with a global market share of 6.4% in 2016. In 2013, the industry employed 84,000 people. Domestic companies with a large presence in the British aerospace industry include Bay Systems, the world's third largest defence contractor, Britain Norman, Cobham, GKN, Hybrid Air Vehicles, Megat, Kinetic, Rolls Royce, the world's second largest maker of defence aero engines, and Ultra Electronics. Foreign companies with a major presence include Boeing, Bombardier, Airbus including its Astrium, Cassidian and Surrey satellite technology subsidiaries, Leonardo including its Augusta Westland and Celix S subsidiaries, General Electric including its GE Aviation Systems subsidiary, Lockheed Martin, MBDA 37.5% owned by Bay Systems, Safran including its Messier Doughty and Turbomeca subsidiaries and Thales Group including its UK-based Thales Air Defence, Thales Avionics and Thales Optronics subsidiaries. Current manned aircraft in which the British aerospace industry has a major role include the Augusta Westland AW101, Augusta Westland AW159, Airbus A320 family, Airbus A330, Airbus A340, Airbus A380, Airbus A400M, Bay Hawk, Boeing 767, Boeing 777 7 Boeing 787, Bombardier CRJ 700, Bombardier C Series, Bombardier Learjet 85, Britain Norman Defender, Britain Norman Islander, Eurofighter Typhoon, Hawker 800, Lockheed Martin C 130J Super Hercules, and Lockheed Martin F 35 Lightning II. Current unmanned aerial vehicles in which the British aerospace industry has a major role include Bay Tyrannus, HAV 304 Airlander 10, Kinetic Zephyr and Watchkeeper WK 450. The British aerospace industry has made many important contributions to the history of aircraft and was solely, or jointly, responsible for the development and production of the first aircraft with an enclosed cabin the Avro Type F, the first jet aircraft to enter service for the Allies in World War II the Gloucester Meteor, the first commercial jet airliner to enter service the de Havilland Comet, the first aircraft capable capable of supercruise the English Electric Lightning, the first supersonic commercial jet airliner to enter service the Aerospatiale BAC Concorde, the first fixed-wing V, Stoll combat aircraft to enter service the Hawker Siddeley Harrier, the first twin-engined widebody commercial jet airliner the Airbus A300, the first digital fly-by-wire commercial aircraft the Airbus A300 and the largest commercial aircraft to enter service to date the Airbus A380. <laughs> General statistics <laughs> History Topic Pre one nine zero zero eighteen sixty two first flight of an observation balloon in Aldershot, Hampshire, eighteen seventy five first flight of the aerial steamer, a tethered aeroplane. 1879 first flight of the British Army's first balloon, the Pioneer. 1890 – British Army Balloon Factory is established 1893 – First experimentation by British Army of a man-lifting kite 
1896, first flight of Frost Airship Glider. Topic: 1900 to 1909. 1907, first flight of British Army Dirigible No. 1 1908, first flight of British Army Aeroplane No. 1 1909, first flight of de Havilland Biplane No. 1 1910–1924 Topic: The early demand for aeroplanes Private flying initially stimulated the UK aviation industry and by October 1913 there were over 80 private airworthy aeroplanes, more than the airworthy planes in the recently formed Royal Flying Corps. Commercial flying only really started in 1919. Before the war there were no regular air services, whilst it was the military market that really was the source of aviation development, in the years leading up to 1914 it was, in the UK, rather sporadic. In 1909 development on behalf of the government was stopped as being too costly. In April 1911 Britain had only six military aeroplanes, two of which were obsolete. The French War Department owned 208. However, by the start of WW1 the naval wing of the RFC had 93 and the military wing had 179. Structure of the industry Topic nineteen ten to nineteen fourteen As a new technology, there was a great deal of interest from a variety of sources, but often it was individuals just enthused by aviation. Between 1909 and 1914 there were about 200 active constructors, although many of them only made one or two planes. But even the production of the larger firms was not very substantial. British and Colonial Aeroplane Company, one of the largest, produced just over 200 planes between 1910 and 1914. Most of the aviation pioneers, such as Geoffrey de Havilland, Thomas Sopwith, Richard Ferry, Robert Blackburn, Frederick Hanley Page, A. V. Rowe, and the Short brothers, had a training in engineering and their their companies were usually privately financed. There were several large engineering companies who also got involved, such as Vickers in 1911, Armstrong Whitworth in 1912, British and Colonial Aeroplane Company in 1910, and Aircraft Manufacturing Company in 1912. Along with these companies, there was the early development of seaplanes, particularly near Southampton, by companies such as S. E. Saunders, originally boat builders and Pemberton Billing later Supermarine. Finally, there were several French subsidiary companies who built aero engines. Topic 1914 to 1918. Unsurprisingly the First World War led to a massive increase in the number of companies engaged in aircraft production, 1,529 companies in October 1918, but once the war was over the vast majority returned to their pre-war activities. However, the aircraft being produced in 1918 were essentially enhanced versions of the 1914 aircraft. 
the development of the aviation industry between 1914 and 1918 was more one of production and logistics than scientific or technical. 1918–1924 On 2 January 1918 the Air Ministry was founded and on 1 April 1918 the Royal Air Force was established, independent of the Army and Royal Navy. Both organisations were to fashion the nature of the aviation industry in the UK. The first task for the government at the end of the war was to dispose of their stocks of aircraft and to deal with those on order. The Ministry of Munitions set up a disposal board and sold the entire surplus stock to a private company, Aircraft Disposals Company, with Frederick Handley Page as one of the key personnel. As soon as the war was finished and the government demand for aircraft ceased, some of the remaining aircraft companies tried to diversify into other activities but with limited success or simply closed down. For instance, Airco looked at car manufacture and was bought by the Daimler Company parent company Birmingham Small Arms whilst Martinside and Sopwith briefly tried motorcycles. By 1920 the British aerospace industry consisted of 28 aeroplane constructors and a dozen aero engine designers. However, much of their work was of a trivial nature and engine orders were so low that Rolls Royce nearly left the aviation sector. The aviation industry was left with the core of pre war producers and a few companies whose interest in aviation had been aroused. This latter category included companies such as the Norwich engineering firm Boulton & Paul, Westland Aircraft, the wartime offshoot of engine manufacturers Petters Limited and Gloucestershire, later, Gloucester Aircraft Company formed from Cheltenham-based luxury liner outfitters H. H. Martin, nonetheless there was still determination to stay particularly from the enthusiastic pioneers such de Havilland and Sopwith. As soon as Airco and Sopwith Aviation Company were declared bankrupt, due to the Treasury demanding payment for excess profits within months Tommy Sopwith and Geoffrey de Havilland both established new companies, H.G. Hawker Engineering later Hawker Aircraft and de Havilland Aircraft Company. Civil aviation The government established a Civil Aerial Transport Committee that included H.G. Wells and Tommy Sopwith that reported in December 1918. Their key recommendation was that steps should be taken to foster civil aviation in order, in part, to maintain a manufacturing base that could supply the country's military needs. However, government policy for civil aviation was, initially, according to the then Secretary of State for Air, Winston Churchill, on the 11th of March 1920 in the House of Commons to let it fly by itself, dot any attempt to support it artificially by floods of state money will not ever produce a really sound commercial aviation service which the public will use, and will impose a burden of an almost indefinite amount upon the exchequer." Air transport companies were established in 1919–20, several of which were subsidiaries of aircraft manufacturers, such as Handley Page, Airco and Blackburn Aircraft. A number of the companies failed or found themselves in difficulty, due to high operating cost, low demand that was also seasonal, high fares and heavily subsidized French competition and so it was decided in April 1922 to offer support and by October subsidies were given to individual airlines operating set routes. Matters were improved when aircraft specifically designed for commercial operation were introduced. 
The DH.34 and Handley Page W.8 lowered the operating costs for airlines, making them more economically viable. Eventually, however, the state did involve itself in civil aviation and on the advice of the Hambling Committee, creating Imperial Airways in 1924 from the four main air transport companies. However, the Air Ministry did not actively engage with the development of commercial aircraft, despite the recommendation of the 1918 Civil Aerial Transport Committee and was later criticized by the 1938 Cadman Report for this. <laughs> <laughs> Military aviation The Air Ministry worked in the early years on the basis that there would be no war in Europe in the immediate future and that the main requirement for aircraft would be policing the colonies. Such activity would not require sophisticated aeroplanes to be developed. To ensure that the aircraft industry did not shrink to a size dangerous for national defence there came into being an arrangement with Society of British Aircraft Constructors that contracts could be shared around a limited number of companies, this became known as the Ring. 1910, Avro Company formed 1910, first flight of British Army airship Beta 1910 – First flight of Bristol Boxkite 1910 – First flight of Short S.27 1910 – Bristol Aeroplane Company formed as British and Colonial Aircraft Company 1911 – Vickers forms Aviation Department and begins producing aircraft 1911 – First flight of Admiralty Airship No. 1 1912 – Royal Flying Corps is formed 1912 – First takeoff from a moving ship 1912 – First flight of Royal Aircraft Factory BE-2 1912 – First flight of Short S. 41 Topic nineteen thirty nine to nineteen forty five nineteen forty three first flight of de Havilland Vampire nineteen forty five first flight of Avro Lincoln Topic nineteen forty five to nineteen forty nine 1946 – First flight of Westland Wyvern 1947 – First flight of de Havilland Venom 1948 – First flight of Supermarine Swift 1949 – First flight of Avro Shackleton 1949 – First flight of Vickers Varsity 1949 – First flight of Avro 707 1949 – First flight of de Havilland Comet 1950 to 1959 1950 – First flight of Hawker Hunter 1950 – First flight of Hawker P.1072 1950 – First flight of Boulton Paul P.111 1950 – First flight of Percival Provost 1951 – First flight of Gloucester Javelin 1951 – First flight of de Havilland C. Vixen 1951 – First flight of Vickers Valiant 1951 – First flight of Handley Page HP.88 1952 – First flight of Short SB-5 1952 –
first flight of Avro Vulcan. 1952 – First flight of Handley Page Victor 1954 – First flight of Ferry Delta II 1954 – First flight of English Electric Lightning 1954 – First flight of BAC Jet Provost 1955 – First flight of Fallen Nat 1957 – First flight of Saunders Rowe Sr. 53 1958 – First flight of Blackburn Buccaneer Topic. 1960 to 1969 1960 First flight of Hawker Siddeley P. 1127 1962 First flight of Bristol 188 1962 First flight of Hawker Siddeley Trident 1964 First flight of Hawker Siddeley Kestrel 1964 First flight of BAC TSR 2 1965 First flight of Britain Norman Islander 1967 First flight of Hawker Siddeley Harrier 1967 First flight of BAC Strikemaster 1967 – First flight of Hawker Siddeley Nimrod 1967 – First flight of Handley Page Jetstream 1968 – First flight of Sepecat Jaguar 1969 – First flight of Aerospatial, BAC Concorde 1969 – First flight of Scottish Aviation Bulldog Topic: 1970–1979 First flight of Britain Norman Defender 1971 – First flight of Britain Norman Trilander 1971 – First flight of Westland Lynx 1972 – First flight of Airbus A300 wings designed and built in the UK 1974 – First flight of Panavia Tornado 1974 – First flight of Bay Hawk 1979 – First flight of Panavia Tornado ADV 1979 – First flight of Westland 30 Topic: 1980–1989 one First flight of Bay 146 the UK's last commercial jetliner 1982 – First flight of Airbus A310 wings designed and built in the UK 1986 – First flight of British Aerospace EAP 1986 – First flight of British Aerospace Hawk 200 1986 – First flight of British Aerospace ATP 1987 – First flight of EH-101 1987 – First flight of Airbus A320 wings designed and built in the UK 1988 – First flight of Bay Sea Harrier FA-2 1991 – First flight of Airbus A340 wings designed and built in the UK 1992 – First flight of Airbus A330 wings designed and built in the UK 1993 – Beginning of development of Bay Replica 
1994, first flight of Eurofighter Typhoon. 1996, first flight of Bombardier Global 5000, forward fuselage, nacelles and HTP manufactured in Belfast. 1996, British Aerospace teams with Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman to develop Joint Strike Fighter JSF Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II 1999, British Aerospace merges with Marconi Electronic Systems to form Bay Systems 1999 first flight of Bombardier CRJ700 center fuselage and nacelles manufactured in Belfast Topic 2000 to present 2001 first flight of Bombardier Challenger 300 center fuselage manufactured in Belfast 2002 – Beginning of UAV development at Bay Systems 2004 – First flight of Bay HERTI 2004 – First flight of Nimrod MRA-4 2005 – First flight of Airbus A380 wings designed and built in the UK 2006 – Introduction of Bombardier Challenger 605 center fuselage manufactured in Belfast 2007 – First flight of US-101 2008 – First flight of Bombardier CRJ-1000 center fuselage and nacelles manufactured in Belfast 2008 – Delivery of first Bombardier Q400 next-gen fuselage manufactured in Belfast 2009 – First flight of Augusta Westland AW159 2009 – First flight of Bay Systems Mantis 2009 – First flight of Airbus A400M wings designed and built in the UK 2013 – First flight of Bay Tyrannus Topic. Current major projects Topic. Manned civil aircraft Airbus A380, A350XWB, A340, A330 and the Airbus A320 family have their wings and fuel systems built in the UK. The A380 is the world's largest civil passenger plane in production. Rolls-Royce offers its Trent 900 for the A380 and has so far secured 61% of the market based on operator decisions. Ian Gray, former Airbus UK Managing Director, has claimed that an Airbus A380, fitted with Rolls-Royce engines, has a UK content of about 40–50%. The A350XWB has so far achieved 564 firm orders and has its wings developed in Filton and assembled in Broughton. Rolls-Royce is currently the only engine supplier to the A350XWB with the Trent XWB. Hawker 800XP, the Airbus plant in Broughton builds the fuselage and wings for the Hawker 800XP variant. This work employs about 450 people at the plant in North Wales. Bombardier Aerospace facilities in Northern Ireland play an important role in nearly every Bombardier aircraft programme. The most notable are the production of the fuselage for the Learjet 40 and Learjet 45, the production of the center fuselage for the Challenger 300 and other programs. 
For the newly proposed C series, Belfast is planned to design and produce the wings, rear fuselage, and nacelles. Sonic Star is a proposed supersonic passenger airliner designed by Hypermic. Its first flight is planned for 2021. Topic: <laughs> Manned military aircraft. Eurofighter Typhoon, the British aerospace industry has a 37.5% share in the production of the Eurofighter Typhoon and a 33% share in the development of the aircraft. The main participants are Bay Systems and Rolls-Royce. The UK had 40,000 jobs involved in the construction of the Eurofighter Typhoon, across 400 suppliers. Comparatively, the next largest contributor to the Eurofighter Typhoon, Germany, had 25,000 jobs involved and 400 suppliers. Bay Hawk is one of the best-selling advanced jet trainers in the world and has generated billions of pounds in exports for the British aerospace industry. Bay Systems and Rolls-Royce are the two main participants and, so far, over 900 Hawks have been sold worldwide. The latest variant is the AJT version, or Advanced Jet Trainer. F-35 Lightning II, the UK aerospace industry has a work share of about 20% in the aircraft and has two companies in Team JSF, Bay Systems and Rolls-Royce. Bay Systems designed and produces the aft fuselage, fuel system, horizontal and vertical stabilizers among other things. Rolls-Royce has a 40% work share in the F-136 alternative F-35 Lightning II engine and provides the lift fan for all F-35Bs. Airbus A400M has a work share roughly equivalent to its share of procurement, which equates to about 14%. Due to traditional Airbus roles, Airbus UK developed the wings for the A400M and outsourced some of the manufacturing, however, the final assembly takes place in Filton. Saab JAS-39 Gripen, over 30% of the content within Gripen is manufactured in the UK, according to Saab. The carrier-based concept, the C Gripen was also designed in the UK. Thai TFX, Bay Systems was chosen to provide technical assistance on the design of the Turkish fifth-generation fighter. A Memorandum of Understanding was also signed between Eurojet of which Rolls-Royce is the largest shareholder and Turkey's ASELSAN on the development of the aircraft's propulsion. Topic. Civil and military UAVs and UCAVs Bay HERTI, developed by Bay Systems. It first flew in 2004 and was successfully deployed to Afghanistan on trials in 2007. An armed version, named Bay Fury, was revealed in 2008. Bay Mantis, a male UAV technology demonstrator, developed by Bay Systems, which first flew in 2009. It was hailed as the world's first fully autonomous drone by Bay Systems. Technology from it was to be used in an Anglo-French male UAV named Telemos, however, France effectively abandoned Telemos in 2012 after it joined a collaboration with Germany and Italy instead. 
The Royal Air Force has since selected the certifiable Predator B from the US-based General Atomics to fulfill its future male UAV requirements. Bay Tyrannus, a UCAV technology demonstrator developed by Bay Systems in partnership with Rolls-Royce, Kinetic and GE Aviation Systems. Technology derived from it is to be used in the development of an Anglo-French future combat air system that will equip the air forces of the UK and France by 2030. Future Combat Air System, an Anglo-French UCAV currently in development. It will use technology derived from Bay Tyrannus and Dassault Neuron. It is expected to enter service by 2030. Hybrid air vehicles have 304 Airlander 10, a hybrid airship developed by Hybrid Air Vehicles based in Bedfordshire. It is currently the world's largest aircraft. Kinetic Zephyr, a hail UAV developed by Kinetic. In July 2010, it made the world's longest recorded flight of an unrefueled unmanned aerial vehicle with a flight that lasted 336 hours, 22 minutes and 8 seconds. Celex S has developed a range of small battlefield UAVs, such as the Falco and ASIO. Most of these have been developed in collaboration with Italian companies. Thales Watchkeeper WK450, an iStar UAV developed by Thales UK in partnership with Elbit Systems of Israel. It is based on the Hermes 450. The British Army plans to operate a fleet of 54 Watchkeeper UAVs. France has expressed interest in buying the system and an armed version has also been pitched to Poland. <laughs> Helicopters. Augusta Westland AW101, a medium lift helicopter developed for both military and civil applications. It was designed by Westland Helicopters in collaboration with Italy's Augusta. It made its first flight in 1987. It is manufactured in Yeovil, England by Augusta Westland, a joint company formed by GKN of the UK and Finmeccanica of Italy in 2000. However, GKN sold its 50% share of Augusta Westland to Finmeccanica in 2004, giving Finmeccanica total ownership of the company. As of August 2016, the AW101 has been exported to 11 countries. Augusta Westland AW159 Wildcat, a significantly improved version of the Super Lynx. It is manufactured by Augusta Westland in Yeovil, England. It first flew in 2009 and entered operational service in 2014 with the British Army. It has been exported to South Korea and the Philippines. Augusta Westland Apache, a license-built version of the American AH-64D Apache Longbow featuring several unique modifications, including Rolls-Royce Turbomeca engines, a new electronic defensive aid suite and a folding rotor blade mechanism. 59 of the 67 WA-64 Apaches were built by Westland Helicopters now Augusta Westland in Yeovil, England. Engines <inaudible> 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 Eurojet EJ-200, the powerplant of the Eurofighter Typhoon. Rolls-Royce has a 33% share in development and a 34.5% share of production. 
The EJ200 is based on the XG.40 engine research programme carried out by Rolls-Royce and the UK Ministry of Defence in the 1980s. General Electric, Rolls-Royce F136, the alternative engine for the F35 Lightning II. Rolls-Royce had a 40% work share in the engine. Development was cancelled in December 2011 after failing to obtain Pentagon support for further development. Rolls-Royce Turbomeca Adore MK951, an Anglo-French co-development for the SEPECAT Jaguar and later adopted for the Hawk trainer jet. It was also recently used in the Bay Tyrannus UCAV technology demonstrator. Rolls-Royce has a 50% work share in the Adore and the final assembly line is in Bristol, United Kingdom. Europrop International TP400D6, the power plant of the Airbus A400M. Rolls-Royce has a 25% work share, which includes final assembly, the high-pressure compressor, the low-pressure shaft, the intermediate case, and the bearing support structure. However, much of this work is carried out in Germany, such as the final assembly, because Rolls-Royce has a larger work share in relation to the UK aircraft purchase. The solution is that Rolls-Royce Deutschland does some of the work and thus can claim a part of the German work share in the aircraft. Rolls-Royce lift system, the STOVL component for the F-35B. It is entirely developed and produced by Rolls-Royce. As with the Rolls-Royce share in the F-136, the lift fan development is led by the company's Bristol facility with considerable input from its Indianapolis offices. Rolls-Royce Trent family Trent 500 is the only engine offered for the Airbus A340-500 and A340-600. Trent 800 is offered for the Boeing 777 and the Trent 700 is offered for the Airbus A330, where it has achieved large success. Trent 900 is Rolls-Royce's offering for the Airbus A380 and it has achieved a work share of more than 50% against the Engine Alliance GP7200. Trent 1000 is the launch engine for all variants of the Boeing 787 and, by November 2007, over 600 Trent 1000s had been ordered by 19 airlines. This gives the Trent 1000 a market share of slightly more than 40%. Trent XWB is the newest Rolls-Royce engine of the Trent series. It will power the Airbus A350 XWB and has currently achieved 800 orders. In November 2007, Rolls-Royce declared that it will build a new factory in Singapore to final assemble some of the Trent XWBs and Trent 1000s. Rolls-Royce RB211 family RB211-524 engine is supplied by Rolls-Royce for the Boeing 747. It formed the basis for the development of the Trent engine series. RB211-535 is supplied for the Boeing 757 and Boeing 767. RB282, an engine developed by Rolls-Royce to power the new Dassault Super midsize business jet. In November 2007, Rolls-Royce announced that the RB282 would be developed and tested in newly completed facilities in Bristol. Its production however would take place in Virginia. 
International Aero Engines V2500, Rolls-Royce is a supplier for the IAE V2500, having previously also being a major shareholder of the company. Whilst the Rolls-Royce final assembly for this engine has been shifted from Derby to Germany, the British part of Rolls-Royce still manufactures a large degree of the engine. FA, environmentally friendly aero engine is a 95 million pound program, carried out by Rolls-Royce and a first engine run is planned for 2008. Its aim is to prepare the UK industry for future engine programmes and from a technical perspective, its aims are a 10% reduction in carbon dioxide emissions and a 60% reduction in NOx emissions. UAV Engines Limited UEL, a British company owned by Elbit of Israel, is one of the largest suppliers of UAV engines in the world. Their engines, ranging from 20 horsepower (15 kilowatts) to 120 horsepower (89 kilowatts), are installed on 25 different UAV systems. It will provide the engine for the British Army's watchkeeper UAV. Reaction engine Saber, a hypersonic pre-cooled hybrid air-breathing rocket engine currently in the early stages of research and development. It is being developed by the British-based company Reaction Engines and is expected to power their Skylon spaceplane with a planned first flight by 2025. Topic: Missiles. ASRAAM, a short-range air-to-air missile developed by MBDA UK. Brimstone, an air-to-ground missile developed by MBDA UK. CAM, a family of missiles which includes versions for air, land, and sea environments. It is developed by MBDA UK with technology sourced from ASRAAM. Martlet, a lightweight air-to-surface, surface-to-surface missile developed by Thales Air Defence with technology sourced from Starstreak. Meteor, a pan-European beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile. The UK is the lead developer. Sea Venom, a lightweight air-to-surface, surface-to-surface anti-ship missile developed in cooperation with France. Spear 3, a network-enabled anti-ship, anti-tank and anti-ground mini-cruise missile developed by MBDA UK. Starstreak, a short-range surface-to-air missile, originally developed by Short's Missile Systems, later taken over by Thales Air Defence based in Belfast. Storm Shadow, a long-range standoff cruise missile developed in partnership with France and Italy. Perseus, a hypersonic anti-ship, land attack cruise missile being developed in partnership with France. Radars Euroradar Captor, the radar developed for the Eurofighter Typhoon. It has been developed and is being produced by the Euroradar Consortium, a joint venture of major European radar houses. The UK contribution comes mainly from Celix S formerly Ferranti. The captor is based on the Blue Vixen radar of the Sea Harrier FA-2. Euroradar Captor E, the AESA variant of the Captor radar, which will equip later tranches of the Eurofighter Typhoon. A Captor E technology demonstrator, called Caesar, first flew in early 2006 on a BAC 1211 and has since then also flown on a Eurofighter development aircraft. 
According to reports, it has about 1400 TR modules. Searchwater 2000, the main maritime surveillance radar for the now defunct Nimrod MRA4 program, developed by Thales UK. The AEW variant is currently fitted to the UK's Westland Sea King ASAC-7 helicopters. Seaspray 5000E, Seaspray 7000E and Seaspray 7500E, developed by Celix S, have found widespread use in various applications. The Seaspray 7000E has been selected for the AW159 Wildcat and the Seaspray 7500E has been selected by the United States Coast Guard for its C-130s. The range for these radars is given as more than 100 nautical miles 190 km for the Seaspray 5000E. 200 nautical miles 370 kilometers for the Seaspray 7000E and 320 nautical miles 590 kilometers for the Seaspray 7500E Vixen 500E a small AESA radar developed by Celix S for small lightweight fighter aircraft it is currently under development and has so far no customers. It has approximately 500 T.R. modules. There is also a variant with 750 T.R. modules under development. The range of the Vixen 500E is given as 35 nautical miles 65 km. Picosar radar, a very small AESA radar also developed by Celix S with a range of about 20 km and a weight of around 10 kg. Its market is mainly seen as a cheap, small radar for UAVs. <laughs> Satellites Galileo Satellite Navigation System, intended to rival the American GPS system, is supported by the United Kingdom and its industry has a significant work share in the development of the system. Disaster Monitoring Constellation, a five-satellite constellation with the first satellite being launched in 2002, to monitor disasters around the globe. Every satellite has been funded by a different country and SSTL has built and operates them. Currently, there are another three satellites under construction, one for Nigeria, one for the UK and one for Spain. Astrium Satellite Business Solar Orbiter, amongst the largest research satellites built in Britain. Topic: Space planes. British company Reaction Engines Limited is currently developing a SSTO spaceplane called Skylon with funding from the ESA. The British government partnered with the ESA in 2010 to promote Skylon. This design was pioneered by Reaction Engines Limited, a company founded by Alan Bond after HOTOL was cancelled. The Skylon spaceplane has been positively received by the British government and the British Interplanetary Society. As of 2014 the precooler technology for the engine design has been demonstrated and test flights are expected within a decade. The company Bristol Spaceplanes has undertaken design and prototyping of three potential spaceplanes since its founding by David Ashford in 1991. The European Space Agency has endorsed these designs on several occasions. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Current major participants. Topic: <inaudible> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Augusta Westland. Augusta Westland is an international helicopter manufacturer owned by Leonardo of Italy. In the United Kingdom, the company has one factory in Yeovil, employing more than 4,000 people. Its main products with a large British content are the EH-101, the Super and Future Lynx and the AW-139 and AW-149. Airbus UK Airbus a subsidiary of Airbus directly employs around 13,000 people at its UK division Airbus UK, with estimates that it supports another 140,000 jobs in the wider UK economy. The traditional UK work share in Airbus aircraft is around 20%. Airbus has major sites at Filton in the city of Bristol and at Broughton in North Wales. Filton is the main research and development and support centre for all Airbus wings, fuel systems and landing gear integration. Broughton, which employs over 5,000 people, is the main wing manufacturing centre for all Airbus aircraft and also builds the fuselage and wings of the Hawker 800. Since 2006 Airbus has also had a small development centre in the Midlands. Topic Airbus Defence and Space Airbus Defence and Space a subsidiary of Airbus is the largest space company in Europe and employs around 2700 people in the UK. It has sites at Stevenage 1200 employees, Portsmouth 1400 employees and Pointon 120 employees. Topic: Bay Systems. The UK headquartered Bay Systems is the world's second largest defence contractor, and it employs around 36,400 people in the UK. The largest aerospace-related locations of Bay Systems are Wharton, Samlesbury, and Brow. The final assembly line for the British Eurofighter Typhoons, a collaborative European programme, is located at Wharton. All flight test activity for manned aircraft is undertaken from Wharton, which is also the development centre within Bay Systems, for unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, UCAVs and the Saudi Tornado upgrade programme. Samlesbury is the production hub of the Military Air Solutions Division of Bay Systems. Here, components for the Eurofighter Typhoon, the F-35 Lightning II, the Hawk, UAVs, UCAVs and Airbus aircraft get built. At Brow, the Bay Hawk gets produced and final assembled, flight tests are done at Wharton. Overall, Military Air Solution has 14,000 employees spread across eight sites in the United Kingdom. <laughs> Britain Norman Group The Britain Norman Group is the last remaining independent aircraft manufacturer in the United Kingdom, with about 100 employees. It is best known for its design of rugged transport aircraft, such as the Islander, Trilander and Defender 4000. To reduce costs, the company resident on the Isle of Wight did not perform manufacture of the airframes, but instead outsourced this to Romania. However, it has now moved production of all aircraft back to Daedalus Airfield and also performs in the European hub for the Cirrus State Route 20 and State Route 22 final assembly and delivery.
Topic: <laughs> Bombardier UK. The Canadian company, Bombardier, employs about 5,000 people in its aerospace division in the UK. It can trace its roots back to Shorts Brothers in Northern Ireland. The company has significant work shares in most Bombardier aircraft with its specialities being fuselages and nacelles. Topic: Cobham. Cobham PLC employs more than 12,000 people in the UK and elsewhere. Its most important products include refueling equipment and communication systems. Topic: <laughs> GE Aviation Systems. GE Aviation Systems, formerly known as Smith's Aerospace, is a division of General Electric, with about 10,000 employees, half of which work in the UK. <laughs> GKN GKN Aerospace is a division of the British company GKN, which employs approximately 5,000 people, mainly in the UK and the USA. In the UK, its most important facility is on the Isle of Wight, where it has a carbon composite centre of excellence. There it designed, and used to produce, the composite wing spar for the Airbus A400M now produced at GKN's new purpose-built Western Approach, Bristol site. The company is also known for producing the cell of the Super Lynx and Future Lynx helicopters. It is the former owner of Westland Helicopters. Topic MBDA MBDA is the largest European missile house, owned by Bay Systems 37.5%, Airbus 37.5%, and Leonardo 25%. It operates across Europe with main capabilities in the United Kingdom, France, Germany, Italy and Poland and offices in the USA. In the UK, the main sites are Bristol Software and Systems, Bolton Production, Stevenage R&D and Integration, and London Management. MBDA's missile programs include ASRAAM, Meteor, Storm Shadow, Rapier, Sea Wolf, Cam and Brimstone, among others. Topic. Kinetic Kinetic was formed from parts of the former Defense Evaluation and Research Agency It has close to 12,000 employees and is one of the major players in the British aerospace industry. Kinetic's main aerospace business relates to satellites, UAVs and reconnaissance systems. Topic: Rolls-Royce. The UK headquartered Rolls-Royce Group is the world's second largest maker of aircraft engines, behind General Electric. It has over 50,000 employees, of whom about 23,000 are based in the United Kingdom. The company's main UK factories are at Derby and Bristol. In Derby, the three-shaft Trent engines get developed and produced. The current lineup includes the Trent 700 for the Airbus A330, the Trent 900 for the Airbus A380, the Trent 1000 for the Boeing 787 and the Trent XWB for the Airbus A350XWB, among others. 
In Bristol, the company has concentrated its military aerospace business with the British Final Assembly Line for the EJ-200 engine for the Eurofighter Typhoon, the only Final Assembly Line for the British French Adore engine and other programmes, such as significant parts of the work share, in the international TP-400 turboprop engine for the Airbus A400M and the General Electric, Roll Rolls-Royce F-136 engine for the F-35 Lightning II. Recently, Bristol has also been confirmed as the centre for the development and testing of the Civil RB-282 engine, which will, however, be produced in Virginia. <laughs> Main locations Derby Bristol Hucknall Barnoldswick, Burnley Inchinen Topic Leonardo MW Leonardo MW is a Leonardo company and an international leader in electronic and information technologies for defense systems, aerospace, data, infrastructures, land security and protection and sustainable smart solutions. The company is an integrated global business with a workforce of approximately 17,000 and total revenues in excess of €3.5 billion. Euros. Alongside core operations in Italy and the UK, the company has an established industrial and commercial footprint in the United States, Germany, Turkey, Romania, Brazil, Saudi Arabia and India. Topic: Surrey Satellite Technology. Surrey Satellite Technology is a small satellite development and production company. It currently has C.600 employees and is the world leader in small satellites. In its 22-year history, it has developed satellites for 27 missions. The two Galileo satellite navigation proofing satellites, GOVA and GOVA-2, are two of their better known satellites. Originally a spin-out company from the University of Surrey, Surrey Satellite Technology is now 99% owned by the Airbus Defence and Space Division of Airbus. Topic: Thales UK. Thales Group UK has wide-ranging capabilities, including avionics, UAVs, simulation capabilities, and other things. Topic: Trifiber flight cases. Trifiber are manufacturers of bespoke flight cases, protective cases for the aerospace industry. Topic. See also. List of aircraft manufacturers.